In the last couple of years, we have seen an influx of beauty products going viral on social media, especially on TikTok. And today I want to give you my opinion and review one product that I feel like had a lot of people in a chokehold. And I was very excited to try this myself uh, just to find out that it was completely sold out and I was not able to get it. As you can tell by the title today, I want to talk about the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in the shade Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. And with that being said, let's just jump right into this. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, it's nice to meet you. I wanted to talk about the freestyle highlighter in the shade Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. I don't think that I would even have to show you what this product looks like. You probably all have seen what it looks like. And I just got my hands on this product this year <laughs> and I've been wanting it ever since Madison Beer used it in her Vogue makeup video. From that day on, Charlotte Tilbury's Pink As and Beauty Light Wand was sold out for a long period of time. I have done a video on the Charlotte Tilbury Pink As and Beauty Light Wand as well. If you want to watch that, it's up here. And she used both products together. Ever since that, I wanted to try it, but I couldn't get my hands on it. And this year I was like, okay, my Sephora online still does not have this product. So I ordered it from the Fenty Global website and it was even on sale and I definitely got surprised when I got this highlighter. Because of the shade a lot of people use it as a blush which I totally understand. Sometimes using a shimmery blush may not give you all you want and using a deeper toned highlighter can be a good idea especially when you want to use this as a topper if you have a deeper skin tone this would probably be such a beautiful rosy coppery kind of highlighter but on my fair skin tone and on what i've seen most people is more of like a blush it comes with two shades i'm going to hold it upside down so to say like you would look at it like this but i feel like this just casts a shadow so i'm going to flip it and on this side we have moscow mule and on this side we have ginger bench when i opened this i was stunned <laughs> it is beautiful like what you see online once you have it in your hands and you look at it I think to date, this is the prettiest blush highlighter thing I've ever seen because of the color. I was a little bit skeptical because online it was described to be something very coppery, like a warm copper. And for me, copper, I don't know why I thought of it as something with a lot of like an orange undertone, which on my fair skin wouldn't really be my preferred look. But upon opening it and seeing that it's actually a more rosy toned pink toned copper color, I was so happy about it. Like it has less of an orange terracotta tone to it and more of like a rosy pink hue, if that makes sense, which I feel like is so beautiful and so flattering. So that was very surprising to me. The next thing that I noticed immediately was that Moscow Mule has a lot of glitter in it not shimmer glitter in it and i was kind of surprised because many years ago i feel like products with a lot of glitter were just not a favorite it was just something that was not really looked for people wanted a smooth sheen and glow but nothing with glitter so i guess i was just surprised to see a product go so viral and be loved by so many people and it having more of a shimmer glitter texture, I would say. And it's just really interesting to see how preferences change over the years. Now, don't get me wrong, there are products with glitter in them and products with glitter in them. There are certain products where it just doesn't look that crazy. And then we have products that are just straight up disco ball. So I, I get that there's still a difference. So I would say that Moscow Mule is a color that goes more into the natural glitter cheek product and not disco ball. Ginger Binge is, I would say, your regular smooth textured highlighter and color wise, I feel like they're very similar. I have to say when I wear this, I love how my cheeks look and I stopped being so picky with glitter and shimmer on my cheeks it's just going to make you more glowy it reflects more light i prefer to use this on top of either a matte powder blush on top of a just smooth cream blush nice combination would be a very cool toned blush this is pinking of you from rm beauty and using this as a base and applying this one on top 
I feel like it's just super pretty. So I like to use this to give myself that warm, hot, sunburned kind of glow and I just find that using it as a topper makes it look more natural and not as intense as using it on on its own. I feel like one thing that just also makes this more easy to use, although it has that bigger shimmer and glitter in it, is the fact that it has a highlighter texture. I feel like blushes can be a little thicker and highlighters also tend to not really have a base tone. They're more of just like a sheen. And what I mean by that is if you swatch a highlighter and a blush on your hand, most people would want the highlighter to kind of disappear when you turn your hand. You can still see the blush and you can only really see the highlighter when there is direct lighting on it. Since it does have some color to it, don't use too much because it could create a little bit of a muddy effect, if that makes sense, but that also comes down to how fair you are. This formula is just so nice and thin that I think it's just no issue. You can really, really control this product. It just spreads out very lightly because it is so thin and blendable. And I feel like another thing that you can definitely tell is that Moscow Mule, is it Moscow Mule? Yes, the more shimmery one is a lot more pigmented when you swatch it. It has a lot of pigment to it, but again, it's easy to blend onto the skin. It's not going to be super pigmented like a blush since it is a highlighter formula. I feel like this blush has like the best of both worlds. You get the nice shimmer effect, but it's not over the top because the formula is just very easy to blend out and soft, so to say. So even though it looks kind of intense, I feel like the formula is great to use it as a blush. But again, my preferred way is to use it as a blush topper. I feel like that looks the very best on the skin. I don't mind that it has the shimmer slash glitter in it. It makes the cheeks just look super glowy. But if you're someone who really, really pays attention to a very smooth looking cheek, this is not the product for you. This does have a lot of sparkle to it. So just keep that in mind. Today I'm using it on its own and we'll jump into me applying it so you can see how easily this applies to the cheeks. Right now I have no blush on and I feel super pale and ghostly. So I'm going to be applying this and I like to mix both together, but I take most of the not so shimmery side and dip once or twice into the very shimmery side that way i don't get like overly shiny cheeks and i have been really liking to apply my blush kind of like sunburned ish and i know this has shimmer it's going to emphasize my pores but i'm a human being i have pores i don't care so i'm going to just apply my blush how i usually would but i'm also applying it a little bit at the very top so you can see the shine that it gives really like the tone of it almost just looks like your skin is radiating heat um, like you have been out in the sun for maybe a little too long and I found myself using this on vacation especially quite a bit and this is what the blush looks like I feel like because of the camera you can't really see how shimmery it looks on my skin but if I look closely I can definitely see those specks of gold glitter and that comes mainly from Moscow Mule. So this is the one that has like the bigger glitter particles in it. Very shimmery, very fresh. The tone is beautiful. I love it. Really happy that it even on my fair skin tone looks so flattering. I have never had a blush I feel like in this specific color. It's just super pretty. And that completes today's video. I hope that my video was helpful for you, that my review just gave you a little bit more insight into this very popular popular product and helps you to decide if you want it, need it, or maybe don't want it and don't need it. I hope that you have a good rest of your day and that we'll see each other hopefully in my next video. Until then, please take care. Bye!